the new touch bar lets me edit in ways I never could before. Right here in the touch bar, I can see my entire timeline. And it shows me exactly where I am in my project. And that's cool, but even better, what could be better? It's fully interactive. So I can drag to move through my project. I can just tap to jump to a specific section. And I can even zoom in to get a closer look. It's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to um, add a clip. When I select it in the browser in the top left, you may notice my touch bar automatically changes to show me relevant controls. So for example, with just a tap, I can see the start and end of my time lapse to make sure it's what I want. In full screen, the touch bar shows me the same detailed overview of my timeline. But it's great because now I can navigate without ever leaving full screen. And with the power of the MacBook Pro, it's smooth and precise, even with really demanding 4K footage. The touch bar is great at surfacing really useful features that can be hard to discover in a rich app like Final Cut Pro if you're just searching through menus. So for example, Play Around shows me my edits in context. So if I tap on that now, I'll see a few seconds before and after the clip I just added. And it's a great way to watch the end of our film.